Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. Today is going to be my finished 13 by Halloween update and this is the current project pan that I'm doing. But I'll, first I want to start off with thanking you guys because today is August 12th and today is my one year anniversary on YouTube and I just really appreciate all of the support you guys have given me through this one year on YouTube for me. I never even thought I would reach 1,000 subscribers, much less over 1,200 subscribers. So again, thank you, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you and all of the friends that I've made here. Within this one year, you guys are amazing, but today is going to be my finished 13 update, as I said. So I have a couple more empties to share with you, and I'm really happy with my progress. So stay tuned if you'd like to see how I'm doing right now. First, I'll start off with the products that I've already finished. I already finished the Model Co. Volumized Mascara, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Deluxe Sample, and the Benefits Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer Sample. I gave more thoughts on these products in my previous empties video and then my previous updates, so those of course will be linked down below so you can check them out. But I have finished three more products, which is awesome, and I'll show them to you. First, I'll start off with my NARS Rakugian Lip Pencil, and as you can see, there's nothing inside of it anymore, and it's just a little nub. Apparently, there's a little plastic stopper on it, and the product goes around it, but the tiniest bit of it fell out. I mean, it wasn't really that much, but when I opened the cap, it kind of just all came out, so it just fell out onto the like ground and I just didn't want to deal with that and put it back in the tubes. It's super, super tiny anyway, so this is done, and I'm really, really happy about it. I did really like this color, but I prefer lip products that I don't have to sharpen manually, so I'm kind of glad this is done. I also finished off my chapstick and cake batter, and it was about right here in my previous update and the NARS pencil was like a little higher than that as well. I've actually gone through a few of these chapsticks in this flavor and I really really enjoy it. I think it smells like Rice Krispie Treats so I probably would repurchase this again but I still have other chapsticks and lip balms that I want to go through. The other thing I used up was this Urban Decay Black Velvet Eyeliner Pencil and this is all gone. As you can see there's a little bit on the top right there but now it's scratching my eyes so I believe this was like up to here here something like that in my last update something around there and I really did not like this pencil that much I find that it flaked into my eyes and it was really really dry so sometimes this was kind of painful to use so I'm very very happy this is done but I do enjoy the other Urban Decay pencils I've tried out Perversion and Rockstar and that was really nice I just wasn't a fan of the velvet pencil so those are all of my empties, so now I'll go on to the products that I currently am still working on. So I'll go on and start with eye products. So this Maybelline Define a Brow Pencil is still going. I can't roll it up to show you the progress because once I roll it up, it won't roll back down. This is a fine eyebrow pencil, but I still prefer my MAC Omega eyeshadow in my brows and then just brow gel. I don't find that I need a lot of filling in with my eyebrows, so I just kind of run this over my eyebrow and then I put Omega and then I put brow gel on and I do it really really lightly so this product does match my eyebrows pretty nicely but I don't do the whole completely filling in thing so I don't know when this is going to be done hopefully it'll be done by the end of this project but I'm really not sure but I do use this pretty much every day And now I'm going to show you my ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow and Plunge so I will insert a pic from my previous update now And this is what it currently looks like. A couple of the crumbs just fell into my hand. And so far I've expanded the pan and then I have also used up from about here over of the side pan. You really can't tell a whole lot. This is a pretty eyeshadow. It's not my favorite formula. I did do a review on this eyeshadow and I'll link that down below. And this is a swatch of it. It is pretty. It's just not my favorite formula. I prefer either straight cream eyeshadow or a straight powder eyeshadow. So this is just okay. I think this will be done within a month or so. I can tell the sides have really, really flattened out, which makes me really happy because, like I said, this isn't my favorite formula and I just kind of want to use it up. But it is pretty and it looks nice on the lids. And I find that it's best applied with a Real Techniques based shadow brush. So that's the best way I've found to apply this eyeshadow. But I'm pretty excited to just 
finish it so hopefully this will be done soon next I'm going to show you the progress on my Maybelline color tattoo in nude pink so I'll insert a pic from the previous update now this is what the current progress is and I'm very very happy about it the pan has definitely expanded a lot and I'm pretty close to completely using up this edge right there. I think I will within the next couple days if I wear eye makeup every day. And I'm very, very happy about it. This is a swatch of it. Sorry for the horrible swatch. It's on my knuckles right next to Plunge and it's the matte color. And it's just really nice. It works beautifully as a base similar to Max Painterly Paint Pot. Really keeps my eyeshadows on really, really well and I'm very happy with how I'm doing on it. I would like to use up the edge and then work around so hopefully that'll happen by my next update and we'll see how far I can get on it. But that's the current progress on the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Next, I'm going to show you my Benefit Watts Up cream highlighter and this is what it currently looks like it is extremely close to being done so I definitely feel like I will have this finished by my next update and this is the current progress the first line was the intro video and the second line was my first update and then the second line is where I currently am sorry if it's not completely matched up but that is what the little nub looks like this is a gorgeous little highlighter. This is a little bit too dark for me to wear over my foundation, but I really like wearing it under my foundation. This is the swatch of it right here, and it is just a gorgeous little highlighter. I definitely recommend it if you have a little bit deeper skin tone than me, but I've really been enjoying using it. I also use this as an eye base, which is why it is going so fast, and I definitely think this will be gone by my next update. Next, I'll move on to lip products, and I only have three left, and I'm actually including a bonus item at the end. But first, I'll show you the progress on my Vaseline Lip Therapy Lip Balm in Creme Brulee, and this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, I've hit the pan or the little plastic on it, and I'm working on using up this side right here, the bottom, and it's really nice. It's not my absolute favorite lip balm. I used to love this, but I'm kind of getting sick of... I'm kind of getting a little sick of the consistency and it's really not that bad. I'm just kind of a little bit over it right now and I really just want to use it up. So this will probably take me another month and a half or so. But it's not a bad lip balm. It does moisturize pretty nicely. And next here is my Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Lust for Blush. I'm wearing that on my lips mixed with MAC Cream Cup. And this is the current progress of it. So you might not be able to see much of a difference, but I can definitely tell it looks a lot shorter and I really like this color. I think it's really, really pretty and wearable for every day, but I think it'll also look beautiful in the fall. This is what a swatch of it looks like. So as you can see on the cap that the progress isn't that noticeable, but I have been wearing this a lot. I'm wearing it more to work and I really really like it. The first line is from the intro, second line is from the previous update, and then the third line is from today. And it's hard to reapply this lipstick because it lasts so long on the lips, but I do find that it's very easy to apply without a mirror, which is good. It's just a very long wearing matte lipstick, but it's not drying at all. I think I have a chance of using this up by Halloween, but I'm not entirely sure. But now that the NARS pencil is gone, I think I will definitely be able to work on this really, really well and see how much I can use up. I think I have a good chance of using this up, but we'll see. And lastly, for the products I want to show you my progress on and my last lip product is my Bare Minerals Moxie Lip Gloss in Rule Breaker. And this is my current progress. So I'm really flying through this lip gloss and it does last really nicely on the lips. It has a nice vanilla mint scent and I'm really not a fan of mint but I actually like the scent of this. It's cooling without hurting and I just really like these lip glosses. This is kind of a nude champagne shade but I went from the intro to the second line which is the previous update and then now it is a little bit above where the actual lip gloss is but that's okay. I really enjoy these lip glosses as I said, they're nice to wear and I don't really know what to pair this with now because I used up my NARS lip pencil. Here is a swatch of it so I might try to apply it over the Maybelline lipstick and see how that goes because it might just look like a clear lip gloss. 
but we'll see. I think I've made decent progress on it considering that this lip gloss really lasts a long time. So hopefully I'll be able to use this up within a month or so and I really do like these lip glosses. They're really nice. And I do have another product that I want to include in this challenge. I just want to see how much progress I can make on it and it is the MAC Lipstick and Cream Cup. I'll swatch it for you quick before I show you what it looks like. This is a swatch of it. It is really, really pretty, but I don't like the way it looks by itself too much on my lips, at least when I first apply it. This is what I have left of it, so it looks pretty new, and I also want to kind of use it up because it did kind of melt a little bit, so it looks funny. I really like this paired with the Maybelline Lipstick in Lust for Blush, so these pair really nicely together. And I just don't like the way this looks in the middle of my lips because it kind of looks a little cakey when you first put it on my lips. I think I might be a little pale for it. I don't know, but I love the smell of MAC lipsticks and I love the formula. This is a cream sheen and I just want to see if I can work on this and see how much progress I can make on it because this is one of the products I'm going to throw into my products I want to use up in 2016. I'm kind of already planning for it. So I'm going to see how much progress I can make on this. So I'll take a picture of it today and the other products that I usually take pictures of and then I'll throw it into my next update. We'll see how much progress I can make on this lipstick before Halloween. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making on my finished 13 items. I have finished up six products so far and I have seven left plus one bonus item that I'm not intending on finishing up. I just want to make progress on. So I think that's pretty good for only two updates. So we'll see what I can use up in the next update. I think it'll just be one, but we'll see what happens. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate your love and support. Please comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.